totally and brutally honest here. Sean Corbin makes Valerie Brudov look like Ivan Drago. It's as simple as that. He's beat what's in front of him tonight. He faces me. He's gonna visit mental demons again. And let's get let's get something straight. You come to me, mate. You come to me. Next time, ain't no judges gonna be needed. I'm gonna do worse than Kovalev. I am gonna do worse than Kovalev. On Saturday night, mate, you better hold it together. I'm gonna smash it near you to pieces, mate. I'm gonna hate him. When he gets in the ring and we get 10 ounce gloves on, I'm gonna smash his head to bits. I'm gonna do it November the 30th against all odds. No matter what people say, the journalists write what you want. All as I'll say is tune back in and then look at me on December the 1st when I am world champion. It's as simple as that. I'm willing to die in that ring. It's as simple as that. I am willing to die. I'm willing to die, Sati. Is he? You fucking rat! Enough of that. Let's go on to belly of the week then. First nomination I have came in for Ben Postlethwaite. <laughs> Kaiser Cobra has nominated Mr. Postlethwaite. Uh, talking about John Ryder against Callum Smith. Has John Ryder got a chance? Sky Sports asked before the fight. No chance, says Postlethwaite. Ryder is a bum. Every decent fighter he's fought, he's lost to. And only one of them was good in Billy Joe. Then he tagged in Billy Joe Saunders, just for good measure. Uh, all of the belts have put up a confirmed fight between Joe Joyce and Marco Hook. Jonathan Powell jumped in. Yes, it's the one we've been waiting for. Richard Lodder nominated him for that. Rob Harold nominated Craigie, 4-4-3-6. If it wasn't for IFL TV, Coogan, Cassius and Umar, IFL Umar, I honestly don't believe I would enjoy boxing as much. The interviews during the week get me excited for fight night, and more importantly, with so many weight divisions, keep you up to date. Credit to Michael Benson on Twitter too. So a bit of a double-pronged award for him there. Uh, David uh, Almond, a uh, friend of the pod, was talking about Ruiz Joshua. Rui Joshua has terrible fundamentals, an accident waiting to happen. It just so happened against Ruiz, but was always going to. Justice for All jumped in and said, I disagree, David. The fundamentals work well for him until he changed it prior to the Ruiz fight. He said he wanted to add a little bit of science, and he got some Navy SEAL to train him and added some psychologist in the camp. He is done with all that now and back to his fundamentals. So a nomination for science, psychology, and Navy SEALs. Psychologists in the camp. <laughs> No lines, it's a psychologist. Psychologist in the camp. <laughs> <laughs> With Navy SEALs, forget about Lion, Lion, it's all about Navy SEALs. Uh, Chris McKenna was tweeting about Ryan Martin failing the drugs, drugs test. William Lee has also nominated Ryan for failing said test. Friend of the pod, Jason Chukwu, I fell asleep, has nominated Enzo Macarnelli for having Kieran Gething versus Jeff Afori <laughs> close when Afori was clearly winning. It must be a Welsh thing. This is an absolute cracker, everybody. On any other week, this would be my winner. Top Rank Boxing introduced a new feature. Hashtag yeah. Fantasy Fight Fridays. Uh. And their first one was nominated by uh. Danny Robson, amongst everybody else, Andy. Eric Terrible Morales against Shakur Stevenson. Who would you have oh. if the division's newest champion and a prime... Featherweight, Eric Morales, oh. cross paths. So not any old Morales, not a Maidana or a Danny Garcia versus Morales, a prime featherweight Maid uh, Morales against Shakur oh. Stevenson. Who would you have? <laughs> Who would I have? <laughs> by the way, can I just say something by the way? They'd be bit, they'd be bit, they don't need to have an ambulance on, on, on duty that night. They need fucking Gil Grissom and CSI detectives because... My rally is between 122 and 130, 135. Oh, that's a push. 130. He's a fucking animal. Oh, Stevenson. Fuck it. Come on. He battered him. I'd watch it. I tell you, that was. I'd watch it. <laughs> I mean, the, the absolute disrespect shown to a guy who was born, I, I know, as it says, a savage. I, I don't know him in Mexico, right? But the slums of Tijuana, I can imagine. It's, no, it's less than pleasant. Right, <laughs> right. You've, got to, you've got to demonstrate. You've got to demonstrate certain character traits obviously, to get out of a situation like that. Good. That means beating shit like Shakur Stevenson, and I mean beating shit like Shakur Stevenson. Da Daniel Saragosa, Marco Antonio Barrera, and his peak. Fuck off! Seriously, fuck off. He fucking obliterated him. Let me put that in the context for you. I was in Mexico before, but I was in Cancun, like the party pipe. And it was all party and everyone's party and you're tipping the barman a dollar and he's like, <gasps> and then you get outside, you get the bus and you see families bathing in the river. So I'll give you an indicator, just a small indicator of how tough fucking Tia was. Like. And yeah, then you yeah, because you imagine what, what Morales would have done to him in light of this footage of him hitting a woman. Woo! 
he would have given him an evil beatdown, man. Who was that opponent where he lauded it over him after he knocked it out? Knocked him out. Uh, I forget who it was. He stood over him and kind of flexed his stood muscles. Him, yeah. They had real bad blood in the, in the build-up to it and he really let him have it afterwards. Like. It wasn't good to your spa days, was it, no? I may have been that one. Actually, been him, yeah. But I remember he, he, a... he was throwing punches against Barrera and away and stuff like that. I mean, come on. Hey, Morales he obliterated is... Chico Stevenson, obliterated him, made bits of him, like, made bits hey, of him. Okay, let's say, let's put it a different perspective then. I remember people fearing for his life when he fought Maidana. And what did he do to Maidana? He made him look or I wouldn't say my well, probably ordinary is maybe the no ah I wouldn't say ordinary is probably the wrong he thing to say. But you know what he definitely did. He you definitely know what I'm saying? It was pre it was pre Maidana with Garcia, wasn't he? He still wasn't with Robert Garcia, and he was basically badly like, badly yeah. swore eye after the first round, and you're like, that's it, fight's over. What does he do? Old man's him. Old mm. man's him. I had that drawn in, but oh, what a performance by, great by performance, old man. Yeah. His last Chicago his last teams. great performance. Like. Shakur Stevenson, who's been, who's been fast tracked to the to the We Bob organization fucking title. By the way, let's let's be, let's let's be all the way one thousand about this. Morales would fucking kill him. By the way, and I mean that respectfully. Yeah, it is a ridiculous nomination. I'm sure they must have got to be honest, man. You got Shakur Stevenson who picked up a vacant title, a vacant title against the lacklustre Joe Gonzalez. Best win is a woman in a petrol station going in against a prime Eric Morales. I mean, this isn't just us being like hardcore helmet fanboys. Prime Morales, like, it's just it's just ridiculous. Savage, right. Steve. Mister Steve. <laughs> Sorry. Savage. <laughs> Move. Moving on, Anthony Joshua has been nominated for drawing a chubby picture of Andy Ruiz. Uh, we got a like off Mike Coppinger during the week, actually, for giving John Ryder his props. Uh, Lee Wilson, can we have a belly of the week for Paul Smith's interview? That moron is not watching the same fight as me. Indeed, they went to Smigger, and he had our kid up about seven rounds to one. Callum against John Ryder halfway through the fight. Very um, you know, great perspective from Smigger there. A couple of nominations from Jason Chukwu. Firstly, nomination for Mark Lyson, the referee, for allowing Craig Glover to continue after the second knockdown against Chris Billum Smith. Totally agree with Andy Lee. The shocking the refereeing was shocking. And another one for Tony Bellew during any card, including this one, for being a cheerleader when it comes to Liverpool fighters and for not being impartial. Doctor Nuno has nominated Terence Crawford, two thousand and twenty, me against Floyd Mayweather. Why not? Yeah, I'm sick of Mayweather. Stop putting yourself in the headlines. Either fight or don't fight, you dick. Uh, Cholo, that's Andy. Michael Alexander, Andy, is from the United King, according to Michael Buffer. Who's in better shape, Michael Buffer or James Tony? Because Buffer's washed. Ah, <laughs> well, eh, I'll go for Tony in this instance, like because Buffer is <laughs> mega washed, man. Fuck it, he he needs to call it. He must be getting made mega millions to fucking be the sole comment eh, presenter for fucking Hearn. He's washed. Mm. <clears throat> Absolutely done. Uh, Paco has nominated, <clears throat> excuse me, everybody, Andy Lee. I used to enjoy his punditry, but I can't believe what a company man he's turned into. Awful all night was commentating on a pre planned outcome and wouldn't stray from it. Greg, Greg Cross has nominated, honestly, belly of the week for boxing tonight. Fucking fuming. Those cards were atrocious. Hashtag justice for John. Smido nominated Bellew. Given the award now, absolute melon. Uh, Guillermo Quitondo was nominated Sky Sports last night for putting up Kais Ashfak next to a random fighter. Fucking hell, Ashfak wasn't even on the card. How do you fuck this up? Putting up the wrong graphic there, Sky Sports. S. Dev again has nominated Tony Bellew afterwards for saying about Canelo. Come to me. Come to Liverpool, Canelo. Smith the A-side. Uh, Peter Kepi as well. Bellew has to have this week's award sewn up. No danger for saying post-fight that Canelo won't want to face a hungry young fighter like Callum Smith. Smith is three months older than Canelo, says Peter Kepi. I'm sure other people have sent me ones, but that's all the ones I've got for now. Anybody else want to throw anything else in, Aussie? Starting with you, any nominations? Late one in for cut there, guys. Um, no, I don't. For himself for not coming on. <laughs> oh. I'm brutal now. No more messing about now, Andy. Yeah, he's coming on. He's coming on the pod, but he's coming on something. Yeah, over those uh, Botox lips, maybe. <laughs> right, I, I've seen uh, it. Kev, Kevin Mitchell um, put out a tweet supporting John Ryder, saying it was a joke and a robbery, and who piped up? 
Liverpool's Tasha Jonas, also part of the uh, the Gallagher gang. And, uh, well, that's what, that's what Kurt put up, mate. There. Oh, Sorry, exactly. He's just put up. I've just yeah. seen a tweet from it. So she's put up saying, um, basically, the boxing public underestimated him, but Callum and Joe um, didn't underestimate John. She then put up a punch stats um, to try and support her argument, <laughs> and the punch stats show Ew. that uh, John... Uh, basically won eight rounds to four on punch starts or on power shots alone ten rounds to two. So uh, well done, Tasha. You've uh, you floored your own argument there, Bint. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Jonas. Bint claim from Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> Bint. <laughs> Go on. Bint. Uh, <laughs> Bint. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck it. Come on, boys, well, any nominations? Yes, I've got one for uh, Earl Spence. Do you see his bloodshot during the week there? What is bloodshot eye? His bloodshot eye. He looks like his skin graft. Bloodshot eye. I mean, skin graft fucking scars and that. Fucking hell, dude. If he comes back, period. Never mind. If he was a fighter that he once was, if he enters the ring again, I will be mega surprised. If he's anything close to but his peak, fuck, he's on the juice. But dude, again, you're blessed. Fucking seriously, and I hate that term, but he is blessed beyond belief. Um, I want to put in, um, obviously, I don't mind getting interrupted for for John Ryder, but just go go back to Lewis Nery for a bit. I want to put him for Billy the Week in that as well because Manny Rodriguez owned his fucking ass big still. Can we just say this because this this self important, self entitled wee asshole thinks that he can just fucking just wander about that he wants. I'm going to earn three hundred thousand dollars to Manny Rodriguez is seventy five thousand. Give my old day, guys. I'm going to miss weight by one pound. I can't be fucking bothered by making weight again. Give my old day. I'll pay money over again just to take in, you know, just a wee tide over some, you know, maybe 20000 maybe $30,000. Not a lot of money. I mean, I've got $30,000 coming, a wee bit of tax, pay my corner in. I'm clearing at least maybe say quarter million easily. Nah, baby, no account to Manny Man Rodriguez because he's decided he's not playing fucking ball with you because he cares what you're all about. He cares that you're fucking stay, you're, 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 you're gaming away. He cares you're fucking on the steroids and stuff. He cares that you're fucking got that, that can we just say, Steve, sorry, put us in here about this Vlada, Wada, sorry, protocol that China, fighters from China, Mexico, and somewhere in Central America, I, I want to say Honduras, I might be wrong with that, they have been told by WADA if they fail drug tests for clenbuterol, it must be under a certain amount, and if it is, they will be classed to be negative for a drugs test, right? So this wee dick has now got a ready-made excuse for failing tests for clenbuterol, which can be used for fucking stripping weight, right? No, this guy, is, his shit's been called, he's missed weight, drugs tests... And he's tried to buy himself, like Floyd Mayweather did against Marquez, into a fucking fight. And Manny's just said, no, I ain't playing ball with you. And fair play to the guy, because he's lost to $75,000 as well. A training camp, having to pay his expenses, probably flights and hotels. He's probably in America and that as well. Having to pay his family to come across and that. So he's out of pocket. But he's decided, nah, mm. if I'm out of pocket, Ned's out of pocket as well. Fuck you. Six, six, six figure sum down the fucking swanee. Fuck Lewis Nery. Absolutely. Ozzy, you got something to say there, sir? No, negative. I just didn't hear it myself. Negative? That's not something you hear in boxing these days very often, is it? <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. going to say that, mate. It's, 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 Where's it's, the B it's, sample? <laughs> yeah, mate. Listen, I've seen it before. Boxing is sweet science, but it's, it's, less, it's less sweet and more science these days. Sure. Hater. Rapping Rob Kelly's had enough, he's disappeared. Uh, it's got to be... Has everybody done put their nominations in, Rob? Uh, Do you have any nominations? Yeah, I had to give uh, a special one for Perio this week, like, for his own award. Like, absolutely on fire. And not only that, not only his performance on the uh, Smith Rider show, but he was asked uh, during the week in this uh, Behind the Gloves where they had Bellew in, David Hay, 
uh, Paulie Malanazzi and Carl Frotz and Johnny Nelson all talking about Ruiz Joshua. And they asked everybody for a one-word answer, who's going to win? And remarkably, all five of them said AJ. Um, but <laughs> Bellew was the only one that gave the one-word answer. He was like, AJ, straight away. <laughs> Fucking shithead. He's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And Canelo coming to Anfield. You could see apples and pears getting behind that, couldn't you? Like getting Canelo to wear an Everton jersey and come to the ring with fucking Lee Casley. Um, what a fucking joke. Like, um, yeah, so Bellew. <laughs> Bellew in particular this week to win his own award. Like, fucking prime example. Like, just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. His name's Anthony, just not leave Tony. Him alone indeed, Anthony. Will. His name's Anthony. Crying like a little bitch. Not Tony. It's Anthony. Ladies and gentlemen, it. it's my great pleasure to announce, joining on the call, Andy, is the one and only Gabriel Mohamed Lewis Senior. How are you, Gabe? Oh, crying like a little the puppy. bitch. <laughs> How's it going, fellas? <laughs> Gabe, you're about two hours late. Hate to break it to you. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I knew I was going to be late. Yeah, Better right. late than never. Deontay Wilder. What happened, Gabe? Tell us. Tell us your lowdown on the big Arkansas. Is he from... Where's he? No, Alabama. <laughs> Value of the week for me. Go on, Gabe. What about Wilder Ortiz? I thought I Ortiz was doing really good. Controlling the fight. Controlling everything Thank about the fight. And, and then in one foul swoop, he got turned just wrong. And I think you saw what Wilder's been working on. The probably in the gym was straightening out that right hand a little bit. Uh, and not telegraphing it so much, and he caught him right upside the head. I mean, right in the forehead. Beautiful punch. And Wilder, or, uh, excuse me, Ortiz, even though he was trying to look stone faced, his eyes told the tale. And good fight. I mean, that was a, a, an interesting fight because Ortiz, I had him up. Uh, what round did it in? Five to one. The seventh round, sixth round. Uh, I know I only had uh, Wilder with one round. I thought Ortiz was controlling pretty much the whole thing. If he just. Uh, Hadn't have been unfortunate there, but I mean that just shows you the the how level the playing field is whenever Wilder's right hand is involved. I mean, what a tremendous punch! It wasn't even well placed, I don't think. Uh, well timed, maybe, but not not you know where he probably wanted to land, but it landed well. That's all we needed. That's all she wrote. Wilder knocking out Ortiz. Theme for the weekend. We're on the Bellew of the Weeks, so everybody. Ozzy, who are you going for? I'm going for Anthony Bellew this week. Who's got your vote? Oh, yeah, that wanker Bellew, without a doubt. That's two for Tone. Andy, another one for Tony for you. Make it a threesome. Yeah, yeah I can probably go for Tony as well. There's no loose. Nery's a kind of close saying. That's more serious, actually. But Tony is just, like, proper homeboy. Plus, you know... Glover took a huge L there last night as well, so it wasn't a good round for Tony. I think he had one fight on the card, maybe one as well, but nah, Tony's just leave him alone, alright? Just leave him alone for fuck's sake. Oh, by the way, can I just say something to Eddie Hearn? Evening, Eddie. Evening, Eddie. <laughs> Hello, I know. Eddie, hey, what have you done for me lately? Oh, girl, you cunt. Can I just say something, baby? Can I just put a bell with a beat in for uh, Anthony Joshua's uh, black eye? Up and Joshua's been on a bad one this week as well, hasn't he? Wants the world to bow at his feet now. Oh, and beats God, Ruiz yeah, as well. was... He's on a crazy one. Like Ruiz living in his head, man. Living in it. Living in America. Yeah, that's it, he? he wants, if he beats Andy Ruiz, he wants people to bow down at his feet and show him respect. What a nutcase. No You're he's right. He's my life. mentally gone. He is mentally gone before five Menace. weeks even arrive. There was only yeah. one man who uh, was born from his mother's vagina could come out and say that such a such a such a statement, and will never be beaten. You know who I'm talking about. Andy, did you notice yeah. during the week something about your idol and friend Roberto Duran? He's now oh, registered as an official Bieber, Bieber coach. I didn't see that because he's coming across to the UK to carry out some sort of training course or some gym events. So as a result of that, you've got to be licensed but under British rules or something, I think so. So I be was licensed the guy. I've seen that during the week there, right? 
it's got to be Bellew this week. Like, well, then Robbie going for Bellew the week. It's got to be Bellew. Like, got to be Bellew for his comparison alone to when Floyd Mayweather beat Marcus Maidana. Everybody gave Maidana more rounds because he did they did better than they expected. First of all, no, they didn't. Maidana won a fair share of rounds in that fight. Anyone with eyes can see that. And second of all, anyone could eye, with eyes could see that Ryder was the winner last night. So to sit there and say that Smith was landing the heavier shots and uh, uh, won more of those shots, he was going to knock Ryder out. Wayne, just pathetic. like Just pathetic. And leave him alone. It's not like he's available to do behind the gloves for a heavyweight contest, uh, for the heavyweight title of the world, to give his insights there. Leave him alone. He just wants to be left alone. That fucking prick. Let's do it right now, you fucking rats. <laughs> there you go, Tony. The Belly of the Week is indeed named after you. You are the winner this week of the Esteem Belly of the Week for episode 350. 